TV. It's got a music. M. Rack. Y'all wanna stunt and floss on Front Street? The whole a tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. That new M. Rack, catch a lick single, aka Money Dance, that's killing the airwaves on Shade 4 or 5 and many different other stations in Connecticut, Boston, so forth and so on. You can get it now, the links is in the video description. It's available on Google Play, Deezer, uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, etc., etc. Go get that. One. Slug you, the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should've knew that. Word. Ain't no Nino Browns in this town. You a new Jack. No now, I gotta ask you this. I want you to continue, but how much of the movie was reality opposed to fiction? You know what I'm saying? Opposed, opposed to, to stuff implemented. Yeah, to, yeah, for yeah. The um, exaggeration, and, exaggeration, or whatever, yeah. just for entertainment yeah. purposes. Mm -hmm. If you want my opinion, yeah. Definitely. About, about 60% might have been real, mm. and the other 40 was fabricated for okay. whatever reasons or whatever. That's just, that's my opinion. Yeah. Everybody got an opinion, but that's mine's right there, you know? Yeah, you um, know, I mean, once it go to Hollywood, they got to dress it up a certain way. You exactly. Know? It makes sense, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? At first, definitely. I didn't get that, and mm. I was real frustrated. Like, that didn't happen. Mm. Neither did that. Where are they doing that at? That didn't happen there. All right. You know, you know what? I got to stop you there. Go ahead. Reason being, Go ahead. because you really was a part of that. Yeah. When you saw the movie, mm -hmm. how did it affect you? Like, I need your true feelings. I mean... I'm going to let you know how it affected please. me. Please. Okay? Let, let me know and let the people know. I Look was, right in that lens. I was very, very, very... You know, at first, when it first when I first heard the movies mm -hmm. being done, I was excited because that was one up for Harlem. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. Most definitely. Uh, uh, you know, I was proud of A because I know he had everything to do with it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Um, I the thing that bothered me about the movie is that they didn't mm -hmm. do their time frames well. Mm -hmm. They didn't show how young they were. Most people that saw the movie thought that they was. By the time it in was all 30s. over for them, they was in their early 30s yeah. or late 20s. That could be so far from the truth, it's not mm. even funny. Everything that was going on with them, and, and, and when they was mm. at their peak, nobody could vote yet mm. or barely vote. They, could, so they what, definitely what couldn't what go into a book. talking about? We talking about 19, 20. Damn. They might have been 21. Babies. You know, Rich might have been 20, and, wow. and, 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 and Poe might have been 19, 20, or whatever the case may be. Mm. At that time, I'm 17 going on 18 or whatever. You mm. understand? Gotcha. So that was the thing that bothered me the most about the movie mm -hmm. was they didn't do the time frames too right. They should have put certain mm -hmm. things at the bottom to let you know what year or, you know, something to that effect to give you more of a time, a better time frame. That's that's about it. And other fabrications I found out that was done for, for Hollywood, you know, whatever, for Merrimax, whatever the case may be. But but how did the movie affect you? Because, you know, everything played out what happened in real life and Rich being your man, like, just, 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 well, just, well, I, just tell me mm -hmm. as well as the viewers how did it affect you? Because this is real life. Imagine. Yeah, yeah. It's almost yeah. like seeing it all over again. Well, you, you exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what, Rack? I'm gonna tell you something, man. Uh, mm -hmm. It the movie didn't come out until maybe 12, 13 years, maybe close to fourteen years after everything happened. So yeah. you know, I mean, it. A lot of things. It, nothing. Nobody was was over everything, but of it was like not. things had had time to simmer down, down, and calm yeah. down, and mm -hmm. settle down. And people had went on with their lives and everything. But you know, for the most part, it it it, it uh, I was happy, but I, it saddened me though. Mm. It saddened me because you know that that was a good dude, man. Which was a good dude. I, I don't care what nobody say. That was a good dude, man. You understand me? And um, you know, reason why I'm saying. That. <clears throat> Ask you this question mm -hmm. because it's people who may be 25 years old or, or younger. I said, they, when, they, when they watch the movie and they, when, they, when, when, when they see Rich Porter, well, Mitch in the movie mm -hmm, die, right. they cry. Get out of here. Yeah. I got, matter of well, fact, 
the homie Ammo, one of um the artists that I had up here, he said that. Well, right in the same seat. Well, to be honest with you, you know, now that you mm -hmm. now that you um, put it that way, man, um, I cried too. Wow. But I cried because I cried because for one, I cried because I know how that man was feeling mm. when that when, when that was going on. I know how tense he was. Mm -hmm. I know how 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 agitated he was and all that. Mm. And I and I know the outcome. You know, Donnell was a good kid. He wasn't involved with none of that stuff, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. he, he he never deserved none of that. To me, Rich ain't even deserved that. It, it could have been they could have talked and worked something out, man. It was mm. too much money being made, you know, by them dudes. But um, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Uh, mm. Shout out to Makai Pfeiffer, man, because he did a hell of a role, man. He got he really got close to to, to Rich emotions. I felt it. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? yeah, he did. He did. All of them did mm. a good job. Wood Harris and Cam, they did a good job. It mm. wasn't that they, they had to work with the script they was given, but. You know, you can't be mad at them. If they was just doing what you know the parts yeah. that wasn't true, they was just doing what was in the script. Mm -hmm. They all did a great job, man. You know. What about the dude that played his uncle allegedly? Um... Well, um, to be honest with you, you know, he did a good job too. Mm -hmm. He did a pretty good job too. You know, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, I can remember times where, where, uh, where, where Apple was telling me, yo, you know, my nephew said, give me this. My nephew said, give me that. I had to go to the phone and call Rich. Man, back then it was only four people I knew with a cell phone, and Rich was mm -hmm. one of them. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I had a beeper. Everybody mm -hmm. getting a little bit of money had a beeper or two. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I call Rich, and he'd be like, "Don't get that nigga nothing." Mm. I, you know, I I didn't know what was that all about. Mm -hmm. I just minded my business and told him. He said, "Nah." Mm. He'd be mad as hell with me. So now. that part of the movie was right. That mo that part of the movie was was because Mitch was in the movie. Like, I you can't touch my mo my money. Right, right, right. You, I, you know, know what I'm saying? I remember at one point when he was real mad. He told he I remember he specifically told me. I don't know about the other dude mm -hmm. on another shift, but he specifically told me, "Yo, my uncle come through here. Don't get that nigga nothing." Mm. It was something he must have been feeling or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be. And I felt that I got that vibe from him. So it was what it was. Got you. You understand what I'm saying? Got you. Right now, you clarifying a lot of stuff in the movie. So right. this is right. why I'm asking you certain right. questions. I got you. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So basically, you said the cat that played Apple, right. Rich Uncle, right. he got it down packed. Like, yeah, yeah, he pretty did much. a good job. He okay. did a pretty much good job for what I knew. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What I knew. I, I mean, you know. I never seen him. Uh, I never seen him do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But um, you can see. You know, if you're from Harlem and you you yeah. a dude about yeah, your talk, about your right you a dude mind. about your money and all mm -hmm. that, you'd be able to spot when a nigga moving like a fiend. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so it is what it is. I mean, so his uncle was moving like a fiend. His, like, of course he was. Real. He was moving like a, he had movements like, like a, a fiend. Custy. Like a like a custody. But okay. here's the thing. Gotcha. I seen some dangerous custies. Remember, oh yeah, definitely. Remember a quote from G. Rap when he said, "You don't want no static because they got crack addicts with automatics." That's a fact. You understand? Yeah. So, you know. Now, let's get to one of the main characters in the movie. Okay. One of the most infamous, of course, Cameron. Uh, right. Right. Playing Rico, aka Alpo. Alpo. Now, right? Do you think Cameron did a good job? I know yes, Rich was your man. Uh -huh. Like outside of no, the outside of that, and I all did it. that. Outside of that, I yeah. did it. You know, uh, uh you know, um, and 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 mm -hmm. and, 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 and I, I I looked up to Rich more than mm -hmm. anything. I I I'd never say at that point I was his equal or nothing like mm -hmm. that. The man looked out for me you know what i'm saying because because he remembered me from the block and all that and he let he gave me a job and let me work i just happened to be around when everything started going crazy i mm -hmm. was i'm the one you know i'm the one move i'm the one moving 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 shit and one of the spots on just you know, out of a shift of three shifts rich had five or six spots at the time but mm -hmm. um as far as Cam go, mm -hmm. Cam did a real good job, man. Mm. He did a good job, man. He he did a good job. You know, he I to be honest with you, I think he did kind of too much of a good job, to be honest with you. Why I you just, say that? I, I'm just speculating. Mm -hmm. I mean, about two about two years later, didn't them DC niggas pop Cam? Like mm. awesome. You know, I th you know from what yeah, I'm being told, he did, my he man did get the, touched in that Lambo. From, yeah, right, from my, my man in the from Maryland said, "Yo, man, uh, niggas, that's when Cam was saying." He got hit. I don't know how many times he got hit, but he said dudes threw up the rock sign. 
Right. It was in D.C. It was in D.C. or whatever, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, he wound up getting getting hit. And that the movie was only out for like a year, maybe two years when that happened. Mm. So I'm assuming that them dudes was like, yo, we can't get to this nigga Poe, but he the next best thing. <laughs> closest thing to closest him. Closest thing to it. Yeah. That, I'm assuming that's how it so went down. So they let Cam hold, hold something. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, gotcha. basically. You know? Got you. Shouts to Cameron. I rock with Cameron. Yeah, too. shout yeah. out to Cam, yeah. man. Harlem, man. He yeah. did his thing. Without you know what I mean? Without a shadow Salute of a doubt. Salute to Cam. Man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, so let's go into the story that people don't know about Rich. Okay. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, man, basically, I remember... M. Rack. Y'all want to stunt and floss on Front Street? The Hulk will tear through your gut, spill out your lunch meat. You the main vic, they booking for drugs. Niggas starving out here, and you looking like grub. That new m rack catch a lick single, aka Money Dance, that's killing the airwaves on Shade 4 or 5 and many different other stations in Connecticut, Boston, so forth and so on. You can get it now, the links is in the video description. It's available on Google Play, Deezer, uh, YouTube Music, Apple Music, Tidal, Spotify, etc, etc. Go get that, one. Slug you, the streets don't love you. Not at all. By now, homie, you should've knew that. Word. Ain't no need no Browns in this town. You a new Jack. Ain't no Peace world to promote your music or promote your business by placing an ad on MREC TV. Contact MREC TV promo M R E C K T V promo at gmail.com. Peace. Oh, yeah, subscribe to MREC TV, youtube.com slash MREC TV. I'm gone. M-Rack TV Let's cut the music